reason why the uh, marshals are clearing the track for the cars to mount. We could just say that all cars are now stopped their engines. So this is a very difficult time for some teams to again restart their engines. So we're hopefully going to cross the fingers that all teams can start and restart their engine and get back into the endurance race. Uh, now the backup clean cars coming back out and we'll see what kind of lap times this vehicle can do here. It's already got a 20 second penalty for off course as you can see here. Is this Mick driving it? Can't see from here but... Another issue is when the cars are waiting for such long, the heat in the tyres is slowly getting out, so they need in the first laps or two get the heat back into the tyres so they're getting them working well. So this is also a problem, especially for the good teams. We now have some really good lap times here. 51 from Pisa, Brunswick. Well, they're out, as we already know, in Berlin with 52.86. So when they get back on track, the drivers really have to be a bit careful, braking a bit sooner bit more gentle on the throttle as they accelerate while the tyres get back their performance as they would have had if they wouldn't have stopped. The weather's nice, not like last night. So we could already hear from the stands and some thorough support. So a couple of teams have got their team members up there. So maybe we can hear from car 80 Berlin, some cheering. Can we hear some of that? Back from the stand there. Let's see, what about Pisa? Can they do any better? Car 39. Someone know Italian? So I will just let you know what uh, the rules are in this situation. The teams that were on the track when the um, car uh, had this, when this incident uh, incidents occurred, <laughs> they will be offered a rerun. So this this lap won't count at all, and any fuel. Um, And any fuel consumption will be compensated for in the fuel efficiency. 
Yeah. The drivers always have to look out when they not sure of the tracks being last inspected by the officials. I think they're starting to get the last checks done just to make sure that there's no all left on the track. And the drivers are going to be really careful in the first lap because even though this, I uh, <laughs> don't know what you call this, cleaning machine was on the track, there's still some powder loose on it so it could still be slippery. And as I already explained earlier, the tyres aren't working those performance what the drivers are left with when they left the track so this is always a bit difficult for the drivers to get back into their routine but I'm very confident that these three teams are waiting patiently can still do it So the marshals have a red and yellow flag which they'll hold up in this area. This is to alert the drivers that that part of the track will be slippery. And they'll keep this flag there until they are sure that the track conditions there have improved. You hear some engines trying to start. It looks like we're about to start up again. The first car has got the go to restart their engine. It's car number 80, Berlin. We heard a great cheer from the crowd just earlier. He's still re trying to restart the engine. University Pisa, car 39, got the second chance to restart and they did it first time running. So their car is going to be released back onto track. Berlin is still struggling. So this means car 39 is going to be the first on the track. It's going to be very careful running through a slippery run just before the hairpin. And... And it sounds like car number 53's got their engine running. And they pull forward. <laughs> 